Okay, you can see that was a bit of action collage work there, guys. Now, I, I've got lots of, as far as I can see, lots of little pictures within one big picture here. So you can extract what works for you. So, for instance, I quite, obviously, I quite like the, the goat. So if I were to do that, I, I, I think that is quite cool that I would say that area is quite cool I might decide just to to zoom in on that area and you'll see what I'm on about later on when I I talk to you about how you can develop this I mean him there look he's got that broccoli coming out of his mouth it looks a bit disgusting actually but but it's quite funny especially with the Queen just underneath him so you could that could be another area of interest um, but if you look in if you're going close on all sorts of different areas here, there's different things going on. You just need to zoom in on the area that appeals mostly to you. So then we would have to go back to uh, our surrealist images and to get an idea of what it is we are trying to do. So, so always make reference back to the original ideas through looking at these artists so so you have to say yourself say to yourself if i wanted to go for a max ernst this sort of crazy mythological guy who's who's doing this dance um you know maybe i i need some different images okay there's loads of variations here so what i would say is you do your collage you see what you come up with that could be the end of it but what i would then what i would personally do is i would then draw the section that I was most interested in on another sheet of paper, I could then use my felt tip pen and water to put colour into it, or I could use my watercolour paints or acrylic paints. Um, again, you could have a strong black outline if you wanted to, but otherwise you could have it wishy-washy. This is just ideas. It's a bit of brainstorming to get you to have a look at surrealism. And if you want to do some research and really get into the history of it, um, you know, you'll see lots of stuff like melting clocks from Salvador Dali and lots of Rennie Magritte stuff. On the other hand, it may be simple for you guys just to literally go for to start with a simple big eye. And instead of having clouds in there, you could create your own little world. OK, because this is obviously the window to the soul and your thoughts and your ideas are reflected, reflected in the iris of the eye. And there's the black lens. That's where the light goes in and the idea, ideas go in. So it's all the information's there. So collage, you've done your research. You can always go back on this video to look at different characters or you just Google Magritte or you just Google Salvador Dali or uh, De Chirico and loads more images will come up to help you. But otherwise I'd, I'd pinch some magazines off your mom get permission first, start cutting them up and and before, don't stick them down straight away. Just arrange them, have a little play with them and then stick them down finally and then decide how you're going to develop it to the next stage. Who knows? Here's something I did on the on the book project. If you can see the book project over there, there was World Book Day. Um, we, we, we developed some ideas and we were looking at Gruffalo. But here we literally we literally took a bit of salt dough. So you can look up the recipe for salt dough and you could create a character. And the same, if you look at your picture here, you could decide to do a salt dough study of that goat or these two ladies laughing on the back of a scooter or the polar bear or any of these characters that you like. And, and you can always take it to the next stage. OK, you can always develop the idea to the next stage. So um, without further ado. You've now got a week to complete this, final week. Um, do your best. Enjoy it. That's the key thing. And uh, good luck.